Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk about how often should you send an email out to your list? And this question came up after Caroline here on my screen, who is a subscriber on YouTube. She commented on one of my videos and asked this question. She said, I have a small email list of 250 people so far, and I'd love to see a video or post from you on your thoughts around frequency of emails. I know you do daily emails, but I constantly have a fear that if I email my list too much, I'll lose them. I'm currently doing twice a month, but I haven't figured out yet what works for me and would love to hear what you think if you're looking for video topic ideas. So this is a great question. I know that a lot of people have this same question and same fear of emailing their list too much and annoying people where they leave and unsubscribe. So I wanna address that in this video today. So what I'm gonna do is share my personal opinion on this, how often you should send an email and also how you create a schedule for yourself on the frequency and also what you should be sending on each day. Now, before I jump in, you know the drill. If you like the content, please hit the like and subscribe button. That helps me out and it also helps to show these videos to other people who can benefit from it as well. So if you're enjoying the content and you wanna get updates for all of my future videos, hit the like and subscribe button and let's jump into this question now. So it's very common to be afraid of sending out emails and annoying and frustrating people and having them unfollow you or unsubscribe, whether that's on email or on social media. And nowadays I send an email almost every day. So I send an email from Monday through Saturday. And if I'm doing a promo, I'll send sometimes two to three emails per day, but it didn't start off that way. When I first started emailing my list and building my list, I was emailing two to three times per week. And that was because I was afraid of people, similar to Caroline, I was afraid of people unsubscribing and leaving my list, so I didn't want to email too much. And even when I was emailing around two to three times per week, I was still afraid that people would get upset with me and frustrated and annoyed and talk about me in social media. And I had all these fears about people getting really mad at me because I was sending too many emails. And this is a natural feeling. Everyone wants to be socially accepted. And whenever we see an unsubscribe or an unfollow, that feels like a personal attack to us and our ego. So to avoid that, we try to just not send anything at all. We're so afraid of people leaving and unfollowing us that we don't send any emails. And I struggled with this for a long time myself for months where I was afraid of going past two to three emails per week because every time I sent an email out, I was stressing out and watching the unsubscribe button and seeing if people would leave. But just remember this, Whenever somebody leaves your list, it's because they weren't vibing with your message and that's totally fine because that means they weren't gonna buy anything that you had anyway and that you couldn't help them or they didn't want your specific help on whatever you're talking about. There's no point in keeping someone on your email list, especially since you're paying for every subscriber on there, if they're not vibing with your message and they're never gonna become a customer because they don't like what you're putting out, whether it's content or products. So it's totally cool. When somebody leaves, that just leaves more room for the right people that you can help and that do want your help. And that's what I look for is the people that I can actually help. Those are the people that I want on my list because they're gonna be the ones responding and listening to the things that I have to say in my emails. And Jay Abraham says this all the time. He says, if you have a product or service that can legitimately help somebody and change their life for the better, you have a moral and ethical duty to tell them about it as much as possible. So that's the way that I think about email now is I have products and services that can actually help people. So I'm gonna tell them about it every single day if I can. Now, if you're worried about people getting annoyed at you and frustrated at you for sending emails, just know that yes, it's totally normal. You're gonna have some complainers who don't like when you're emailing them too much and that's fine. They can leave your list whenever they want. There's no reason they need to stay. And the way that I think about email is kind of like a podcast show. So I listen to a lot of podcasts and I have a lot of saved episodes and a lot of people that I follow but I don't listen to every single episode of every single show. I, I just have too many things to do. That doesn't mean that I'm annoyed or frustrated at the person who's creating the podcast. That just means that not every episode and not every topic is relevant to me, but I'm not annoyed or frustrated at the person for pumping out podcasts multiple times per week. And it's the same kind of thing with email. Not everyone's going to read every single email that you send out, they're gonna find the ones that are relevant to them and most interesting to them. And those are the emails that they're gonna read. And that's not because they're annoyed or upset at you. It's just because people have a million other things to do every day other than just reading emails. On the flip side of that, there are diehard fans of yours on your email list that do wanna hear from you more, that do read every email. And if you were to only send out one or two emails a month, you're doing them a disservice to your loyal fans. So in one sentence, the reason that I email six times or more per week is because I know for a fact that I have content and products and services that can and have changed people's lives 
So I'm going to tell them about it as much as possible. I'm going to send out an email almost every day to tell people about the different products and services that I have that can help them change their lives or improve their lives and also share content to help them as well. So that's the way that I think about the frequency of email and how often you send is if you have something that can actually help people, then don't be afraid of sending out emails and don't be afraid of unsubscribes because those are the people that you couldn't help or didn't want your help anyway. Now with that said, how do you create a schedule that works for you, an email sending schedule that works for you? So like I said, I send six emails or more per week and I have my own set schedule. I have a separate video on this that I'll link to in the description, but I'll go over it again in this video here. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, all I'm doing is sending out an email that links to my YouTube videos. So this video right now on Monday or Wednesday, I'm gonna send out an email and it's gonna to link directly to this. Somebody watches my video and that's it. There's no direct offer in this video or in the email. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm usually making some kind of direct offer. So I'm using a story or a how-to post or insights or tips or tricks and or maybe an opinion post and I'm sending out an email and I'm linking to one of my offers directly. On Friday, I have my weekly newsletter roundup. So it's called Friday Fire. And in that newsletter, I talk about different lessons that I learned from the week or different thoughts that I had. I will link out to my different content like my YouTube videos or my Twitter threads. And it's basically a roundup of all the content that I created from the past week. And on Saturdays, I call it my Saturday story time email. And I'm usually sharing a personal story of something that impacted my life in some way or changed my behavior. So Saturday is reserved for a story. Sometimes I'll make a direct offer, sometimes I won't. But that is my schedule. Mondays and Wednesdays are just linking to YouTube videos. Tuesdays and Thursdays are direct offer days. Friday is a weekly newsletter roundup of all my content from the week. And Saturday is Saturday story time where I talk about a story that impacted my life in some way. Now, even though I'm not hard pitching in every email, I do give people an opportunity to buy if they want to in every email. So I learned this concept, it's called the super signature. I think it was created by a guy named Dean Jackson. And all it is, if you're on my email list, you'll see this. At the bottom of every email, it says also, here are five different ways I can help you. And that links to my different content and also my paid products and programs. So even if I'm not making a direct offer, at the bottom of every email, somebody can pick whether it's my free content or a product to buy, they can pick based on where they're at in their journey. So even though I don't have a direct offer in every email, every email can sell something. And again, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. If you have products and services that can actually help people, always give them an opportunity to buy and tell them about it. It's like if you were to go to a doctor and you had really bad back pain and you go into the office and he's like, I have these pills that can heal you in like two seconds. If you just take these pills, you'll be good within 30 minutes or so. But I'm not gonna give it to you because I wanna provide you value for two weeks, right? You'd be pissed off. You'd say, give me those pills right now. I have really bad back pain. I wanna solve this problem. Same thing goes with your emails. I'm always giving people an opportunity to buy, even though I'm not pitching them directly. So how do you create a schedule for yourself? Well, I can only tell you what I do. That's what I do. I repurpose a lot of my content in my emails. I also make direct offers, but I also give people an opportunity to buy in every one of my emails using that super signature. If you wanna see this for yourself, go to emailraymaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group. You can opt in for my group and also my email list. And every email that I send out, you will see this at the bottom of that email. So Caroline, I hope that answered your question. And any Anybody else who's been wondering how often should you send email? Should I worry about unsubscribes? And how do I create a schedule for myself? I hope this helps you out. And if you did find this useful and you found it valuable, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And again, if you want to learn more about writing emails that sell to your list and writing good emails, go to emailraymaker.com. That's going to take you to my free Facebook group and my email list where you can learn more about that. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.